everyone. My name is Nehlata Pankadin and I would like to share my research on management of solar panels in India. To start with, I would like to share an instance where I had moved to New Delhi for my masters. My mom and I had just got to Delhi and she was helping me settle into my PG. Once we had settled down, we decided to take a stroll on the terrace and just soak in the Delhi sunset. We had heard the sunsets around July are quite nice. So we went up and there was hardly any space to walk around. Most of the area was covered by solar panels. And when I looked around, there were few houses like independent condos, which also had panels on their rooftops. It was such a nice thing to see, as most of the panels were being set up on the rooftop, which converts solar energy into electricity. I had not seen many panels in my hometown. We are progressing, moving towards renewable energy and sustainability. And this was the course I was getting into, that is renewable energy. So I started looking into it and this topic just got more and more interesting. The next thing that came in my mind was solar panels would have shelf life like everything else. And this would be around 25 to 30 years. So I thought I'd ask my landlord that since when these panels had been installed. And he told me that this had been around 10 years. This means that these panels would work for the next 15 years efficiently. So what would happen to these panels after these 15 years? Can they be reused somewhere else? Or will they be recycled? Or will they be just dumped in some landfills? And this got me hooked onto the topic. I started discussing this with my professors and my friends and it just got interesting. As a nation, we are headed towards big developments and renewable energy is a part of it. But we need to keep in mind that with this, waste generations will also be there. And with this, I would like to take you all 10 to 20 years ahead of 2020. So let us get a little bit deeper. In India, large solar panel installations started around 2005 and they started to rise drastically since 2010. This was mainly because of the National Solar Mission. The world solar panel capacity is around 583 gigawatts. And in India, the solar PV capacity is 36 gigawatts and more coming. We have a pl aim to reach of 100 gigawatts by 2022. Just imagine the area that this would cover. It would be around 3 to 4 lakh acres of land. And so will be the panels, the number of panels that would be associated with it. The waste that would be generated by 2030, 35 can be around 38,000 tons. Now, what is this wastage? The wastage can be two types. One is the early loss, which would be incurred due to the transportation, installations, damages caused during the lifetime of these panels. And this would account for 0.41 million tons. And just not few tons, but 0.4 million tons. Just imagine the amount of waste. And the next type would be the regular losses, which would be around 38,000 tons. And this accounts for the end of life of these panels. Now this 38,000 tons seems to be less, but this would increase as the number of installations would increase in the years. So this shows and points the need for recycling of these panels. In my research, I talked about various recycling processes and which would enable us to recover materials like glass, aluminium, silica, silicon, silver, copper and other rare earth metals. And with recycling, 96% of these materials can be recovered. This can be used for remanufacturing of new panels or can also be used in other industry purposes as well. There are different recycling methods and costs associated with it, which also depends on the type of solar panels that we are recycling. And rare earth materials, which require heavy extraction processes, can also be saved with the help of recycling. In short, this all can help us reduce the metal raw material requirements as well as the energy requirements for manufacturing of these solar panels. Now let us see that what is happening around the world. In India, we have not yet included the solar PV waste into the e-waste policy. 
but European Union is leading in recycling of these solar panels. Now, this is mainly due to the inclusion of solar PV waste in the waste, electrical and electronic directive. This includes collection and recycling of the panels that are in the end of life. Next is the countries like USA, Japan, which are working efficiently with voluntary initiatives to tackle the solar PV waste. And they are doing quite well. So, if we talk about regulations, other than European Union, the developed as well as developing countries have not yet included any regulations for the solar PV waste. Developments are seen in an exponential rate and we should have solutions for the waste that will be generated in this process. We are accelerating towards finding solution for the climate crisis, having improved technologies for it, working towards various development goals. But what about the waste? What about this waste that will be created in this process? And we need to take care that we just do not add to the heaps that already exist. I would like to give a few suggestions in this process to tackle the waste that will be generated in the near future, which includes having revised e-waste rules or separate regulations or frameworks to tackle the solar PV waste in the coming future. We can have benchmarks for recycling the volumes which will be generated. We can have efficient take back or collection systems according to the years of waste that will be generated. Government can have interventions, incentives to provide so that we can set up recycling plants in India. Or government can also set up plants that could attract investors around the world or through public-private partnerships. Various organizations and research institutions can come to together and work towards it, address this issue and plan well ahead of time, which is just 10 years ahead of time that is I am talking about to tackle the amount of waste that is 0.4 million tons by 2030. For foreseeable future, renewable energy is inevitable, but we need to look beyond it, beyond the radar, to see the congestion of panels that will be generated and the problems that they bring with. We need to address this, manage it and solve it, right now and right here. With this, I would like to thank you all for patiently listening to me. Thank you.